So you watched the previous video. And if you haven't, here's the link in the top right corner and in the description below. Learn about the five different personalities, their strong, positive characteristics, what makes them tick and thrive at work. You also did the questionnaire, so you are here to find out more about your shadow side or the one of your colleagues. This is the video about this little minifigure. Miss, hurry up! Although speed is her asset, give her some slack and she transforms into a mega procrastinator. Miss Hurry Up would only start working on her assignments when the deadline becomes imminent, sometimes even beyond urgent. Although speed is virtue for her, she makes mistakes. A lot of them. Fixing them takes twice as long, so yet another missed deadline on her record. Everybody feels disappointed, let down, and when she is confronted by her peers, her impatience shines through. She speaks quickly and even finishes the sentences of others, sometimes incorrectly, and causes more frustration and waste of time. During times of change, Miss Hurry Up finds people that need more time and space to get their heads around change impossible. She just wants them to get on with it. Her decisions are snappy. Her recommendations may or may not add value, but they are low-hanging fruit. Ticking the box is all what matters. Change for her is another task that needs to be done now. If you are like Miss Hurry Up, slow down. Take a step back and reflect. Reflect on ways to produce great, accurate results. Give more emphasis on delivering incrementally with many interim deadlines. Create the time and space for others to digest the impact of change. When others speak, Shift your focus away from your own thoughts about how to respond and try to concentrate on the other. What they say, how they say it, while paying attention to non-verbal cues. You become fidgety, impatient with others, which has a knock-on effect on them. So instead, learn relaxation, breathing techniques that will help you focus on what's really important. And the more you relax, the more relaxed the others will feel around you. And here's a kind note to yourself, for you to reflect on. It's okay to take your time, to slow down, to reflect, to think every step through, to cherish every moment, it's also okay to give time to others that may prefer a different approach towards change than yours. Knowing your drivers, your working styles, and how you may react under pressure at times of change may be invaluable. This conscious awareness of the reasons behind these strong emotions, what triggers them, as well as knowing your strong points and your shadow side, gives you more choice to slow down, reflect in the moment, and perhaps act differently. Because knowing yourself better is power. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below, share it with your friends and colleagues, and subscribe for more. That'd be lovely. Till the next one, I'm Lazarus Wolf, Take care.